Tarou Clavel is a Japanese-American sociologist. Cross-cultural consultant who has written extensively about family and cultural issues in Japan. Her family moved to Hong Kong, to Shanghai, then Tokyo. Now they're back in New York, and Tarou has written a terrific book about what she learned from watching her kids learn. The book is called World Class. In Japan, for example, you have to be recredentialed every five to ten years. It's like becoming a doctor or a lawyer, really, where you can't just pass an exam once. 200,000 applicants for 38,000 spots to become teachers. In the United States, teachers spend 27 hours a week on average in the classroom, whereas the average for OECD nations is 19 hours. What is the difference in education in places like Hong Kong and Tokyo? I would say the biggest difference was when we were in Shanghai and when we were in Japan, the government mandates the textbooks and what needs to be taught in the classroom. And there's a lot more technology in the classrooms here than we ever had there's overseas. There's more here. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. Kawaii ko ni wa tabi o saseyo. And it means to the adored child, send them on journeys. Japan's greatest challenge is marrying their national identity and cultural values with what's needed of them globally. I think Japan is a nation where the culturally entrenched values for women is first and foremost the child rearing and the home care.